Today, I'm going to be rebuilding FC Barcelona from FIFA 14 all the way to FC 24. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. FC 24 is now out. It is now available. So rest in peace to FIFA 13. I really like that game. These 10-year rebuilds will now be from 14 to 24. I'm going to take over this iconic Barcelona team. Back when they still had arguably the greatest midfield ever with Sergio Busquets, Xavi, and Iniesta. With a 94-rated Lionel Messi. And a recently signed Neymar from Santos. They've also got some great players that maybe leave in the future I want to hold on to, like Cesc Fabregas, for example. Oh, Alexis Sanchez they let go of. And they got some players that maybe didn't quite work out, like, for uh, example, the next Messi, Bojan. More like the next Sadio Berahino. Poor Bojan, man. But other players that are going to come up through the Youth Academy over these 10 years, like Sergio Roberto and others. Oh, La Masia is going to go hard in this rebuild. I'm going to sign and sell plays in FIFA 14. We're going to build up the squad, simulate the season, see what we win, and then take the exact same team at the end of this season over with us to FIFA 15 and repeat the cycle all the way to FC 24. If you have not already, be sure to like and subscribe and let's begin. To start, we've actually got two players retiring at the end of the season, Pinto and of course, Puyol is going to be calling it quits at the end of the year. I've also gone ahead, transfer listed a couple of players I'd probably like to get rid of, like for example, guys like you know oh Jonathan Dos Santos still part of this Barcelona team sadly I don't think I'm going to be able to save Bojan's career either so I'll probably have to transfer list him as well so we are going to sell Adriano to Levante he's off I'm going to accelerate one signing that happened in real life straight away I want to pick up Luis Suarez let's get MSN in as soon as possible. Yeah, we're only bringing him in a year early, but trust, we're actually gonna save money by doing this. I've also found this kid from Bayern Munich. He's loan listed, 17 years of age, in the last year of his contract. Doesn't look like he's got a future at Bayern. His name's Pierre-Emil Hoiberg, and look, I see a player in there. I see a potential future Barcelona man right there. Ibrahim Afalai to Arsenal. Yeah, you can have him and we'll keep Sanchez. That's a good deal. Arsenal also want Bojan. Okay, yeah, let's get a right winger in Bojan and a left winger in Afalai. Go with that front three, Arsenal. Hey, if you want him, mate, you can have him. We'll submit that offer. Man City want PK. Oh my God. All right, no, I'm not letting any more players go after that. We just had Suarez accepting his contract. So, in a year early, Luis Suarez comes to Barcelona. MSN gets into gear one season early with Suarez at the striker position and now Messi and Neymar pushed out wide onto the wings. And honestly, I'm going to put Mascherano on the bench and just, I know he's old, but I'm going to get PK and Puyol back in together as well. Look at this Barcelona team. This is peak prime Barcelona. Victor Valdez in goal, that defense, that midfield, that front three. To bring a tear to your eye. That's perfection. And with some great quality on the bench, like Mascherano, like Fabregas, like maybe not Alex Song, but Pedro and Sanchez. Wow. Barcelona actually had quite a bad season by their high standards in 2014. Didn't win anything apart from the Super Copa. So Neymar, Suarez, and Pierre Emil Hoiberg come into the club in the first season while letting go of plenty of plays. Honestly, part of me is tempted to bring back David Villa. I loved him that much. If only we started this one in FIFA 13, I totally would have kept Thiago as well. Maybe we bring him back in the future, who knows? But for now, what do we achieve in the first season? At the end of the first season, Barcelona have had an absolutely ridiculous season. 94 points. That iconic Barcelona team, that's what it's able to deliver. We just have one game left in the season to see out the title. God, I miss seeing the Camp Nou in FIFA, man. Let's do this then, people. Let's seal our first La Liga title. It is kicked off and underway. Oh, big run on here. Big chance here. Messi's in here. Messi's in. Messi scores. He slots it. Two Easy for Leo Messi on that left foot. Curls it into the top corner. Shabby with the pass. Messi with the finish. In the Camp Nou, it just makes sense. You love to see this beautiful strike from the goat into the top corner. Cut back, cut back, cut back. Strike. Oh, saved. Off. Come on, the woodwork. And back in by Suarez. Messi to Iniesta. I don't know if the keeper got a hand to it there. I think that's Courtois too, by the way. Currently on loan from Chelsea. Maybe we stop him from going to Real Madrid. But in the end, Suarez just sticks home the rebound. Well, pretty good first half. We have nearly wrapped it up. Got another decent ball on here. Yes. It's got to get through 
through to Messi. I'm going to go for the ding. A typical Leo Messi ding. You can never get sick of the sight, can you? Well, he can. Lovely ball from Iniesta. He's been assisted by Shabby in this game, Messi. And now the other one, Iniesta. And that will wrap up the first La Liga title of the rebuild. Hopefully and surely not the last either. Xavi will lift it up. Puyol is leaving. Iniesta will leave soon as well. We've only got these Barca legends for so long. Let's appreciate them while we've got them in the team. And let's win as much silverware with them as we can. We also win the Super Cup of this season. So replicating what they did in real life. We also won the Spanish Cup, aka the Copa del Rey. So we won every trophy in Spain. But had no luck in the Champions League after getting knocked out to get this Galatasaray. Oof, how does that happen? Aside from that, pretty good first season, of course. We're going to keep this exact same team, minus Puyol, who is retiring. This is the bench, these are the reserves, and off we go to FIFA 15. This season, Barcelona sold players like Alexis Sanchez to Arsenal and Cesc Fabregas to Chelsea. We're going to keep a hold of both of those players, obviously. They also brought in some other players like Thomas Vermeulen from Arsenal, as well as Jeremy Mateu. I can probably skip those players, to be honest with you. We might be able to find some better options. They signed to Stegen, of course. They signed Rakitic. I'll bring in both of those players. And another signing they made this year, which we made last year, was that of Luis Suarez. Of course, suspended for the first couple of months in FIFA 15 for chomping on Chiellini. So Rakitic is added in. Sanchez still in the side and now 85 rated. The reserves, we look a bit light in terms of defenders, so I can add some players in this year. Man Montoya, I can maybe accept, you know, we are going to bring in some slightly better options. Another fullback I found, for example, was Alex Tellez. You know, 73 rated, currently playing for... Galatasaray, the team that knocked us out the Champions League last season. He played exceptionally, so I might sign him. And the other lad is Antonio Rudiger. Might be a nice backup for us. Hopefully he evolves and maybe gets in the starting 11 in the future. You never know. And in those two come to the squad. So that is Rudiger and Tellez added into the reserves. In case I forgot to mention it, had a couple of players come up from the Youth Academy and Barcelona B, like Rafinha here, for example. Of course, in 2015, Barcelona did the treble. So... That is a lot to live up to. I'm not sure if we'll do it. Let's find out if we can somehow repeat that treble. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't think we could have had a more polar opposite season to what they did in real life. Barcelona with a stinker. We win La Liga last year and come fourth the next year. No Spanish Cup and no Champions League either. We get dumped out in the semi-finals to Bayern. God knows what it was. I thought the team was still good enough to win at least something. Aside from Suarez, I haven't really made any big, big moves into the Barcelona side. Maybe next year in FIFA 16, we do that. In 2016, we saw Barcelona sell players like Pedro. We saw them sell Gerard Dulafeu. Xabi also left on a free to go to like a Qatari club. And that Qatari club obviously is not in FIFA anymore. So we now have lost Xabi. And the only two players Barcelona paid money for is actually Ada Turan and Alex Vidal. And I genuinely am going to skip both of those players. This is what our starting 11 looks like. Good thing we held on to Cesc Fabregas because he fills the space losing Xavi very, very nicely. Hoiberg continues to grow and overall Sandro's come up from the Youth Academy, Gerard too, as this left back by the name of Grimaldo. Jordi Alba's got a lock on the left back position, but I think we've got a nice little backup lined up for the future. Mascherano is nearly 32 years of age. I think maybe we could go for another left or center back. And the man I'm going to sign came up in La Liga, future Spaniard, Americ Laporte. No crazy cheeky signings this time like future knowledge hindsight signings. Just getting a quality player right now. That is the contract agreed to and we've signed a big one. Out goes Mascherano, in goes Americ Laporte and again that's a man that should keep that center back spot for the whole rebuild. So Stegen is now the lowest rated player in the team but with knowledge he is going to get quite good. I'm willing to hold out. Rafinha, Liverpool want to pick him up. Uh, that's an interesting one. We can maybe agree to that. Alexandra Song, I can probably let go of as well. His overall's declining. I know it's probably only going to keep dropping. To be honest, Gerard's probably not going to get barely above a 70. I've only got the one backup goalkeeper at the moment, Massip 71. I should probably add another. And after looking around a little bit, I found a 68 rated 19 year old Andre Onana. He's playing for Ajax and Ajax products normally turn out pretty good and some turn into memes, but that's only if they go to Manchester United. And if you think I'm kidding, Donny van der Beek, Anthony, 
and now Andre Onana. If you're an Ajax player, don't go to Manchester. Save your career. Don't go to United. Habibi, come to Barcelona instead. So there we have it then. Onana in the reserves. I don't know if he'll ever start for this team, but uh, he'll, he'll be in, in contention. Despite losing Xavi, good looking starting 11. Surely we have better luck this year. Barcelona won La Liga and they won the Copa del Rey this season. How do we go in this season? Oh, again, we fall short in La Liga. We have only come second again. We pick up another Super Copa. Yay, the least important thing we can win. No Copa del Rey and no Champions League title. We finished third in this group by a Leverkusen and actually got past us. But because we finished third in that group, we're in a Europa League final. Ah, it's almost a guarantee. If we're a team this big, we finish third in our group. We're almost always getting to the final. Once again, this is not what we're playing for. We want the Champions League. But nonetheless, there is still a trophy on offer. So let's just shut up and get it done. Oh, one back. One back nicely. Oh, it's Danny Alves. Let's go! Deep one from Messi. Header. Oh my God, this keeper's ridiculous. We go for the curler with Messi. Saved. Not quite that time. Neymar's on it. Maybe a cutback. That's off the woodwork. Tap in by Messi. Finally, it gets in. Oh, my God. Every member of MSN pretty much got a touch of this. Uh, yeah, no, Neymar got it. Cut back. Stopped the post from Suarez. Tapped in by Messi. God damn it. Eventually, it found its way in. That took ages. Bloody hell. Price down. Dortmund's in. That's a strike and a big stretching save from Tostegan. Neymar's taking a bit of a knock in this tough game as well. I'm going to have to bring on bloody Alexis Sanchez from the bench. It's been a tough, hard-fought game. It just comes down to this. It's held by Tostegan. Boot the thing away. That should seal it. I tell you what, Barcelona would not celebrate a Europa League this much. But I probably will after a final like that. What a well-earned trophy that is. Holy crap, what a contest. Barcelona expect European glory. Maybe not quite this sort of European glory, but it is well-earned and we'll take it anyway. I will definitely take a Europa League trophy over a quarterfinal, semifinal exit in the Champions League. So we've got ourselves four trophies so far in three seasons. Eh, not, not great and no Champions League yet. <laughs> Barcelona let quite a few players go this season. Some of the more notable ones include Danny Alves, who went off to Juventus. Mark Bartra went to Dortmund. Brought in a couple of players like Andre Gomes, for example, and Samuel Umtiti. I think I can probably skip on those players, but I will bring in one player, a left back, Luca Digne could be quite handy because we don't have enough left backs at the moment. You know what I mean? We've only got Grimaldo, Tellez, Jordi Alba, and now only, of course, a 79 rated Luca Dinier. All these left backs, bloody hell, we should probably go for a right back. And I think I got one here. How's Jao Cancelo sound, you know? Let's speed this one up as well. So Jao Cancelo comes into Barcelona. I think it's fair to say we're pretty good for defenders now and, you know, just in the future as well. With Rakitic, Busquets, and especially Iniesta getting on a bit too, I think I should focus now on my midfield for the future. So I'll make a signing here for the future. Just a kid, Loney, uh, from La Liga. So he should know what he's doing in this competition. His name's Rodri. Um, yeah, like only 68 rated again. Kind of like the same as Onana when we picked him up. Since their arrival, we're going to have to pay over. Oh dear. Are you telling me I have to pay three, maybe four million pounds for Rodri? Oh, awful. How will I ever live with myself? I, I actually, I think quite easily. This is a man who I believe will very easily fit into the Barcelona squad. There aren't many players I would consider near perfect replacements for Sergio Busquets, but I've got a good feeling about this young up-and-coming Rodri here. Crazy to think we're still holding on to players like Sanchez, like Fabregas, and they can't even get into the squad. Like, poor Alexis Sanchez has absolutely no hope with MSN still intact. By the way, this would be the last FIFA they'd ever be together for. Barcelona this season won the Copa del Rey and the Super Copa. No La Liga, no Champions League. Can we finally get to a Champions League final with a team that good, hopefully? Oh my God. Third in La Liga, 15 draws, man. We nearly drew more games than we won. There's a huge gap between ourselves and Real Madrid. We lost the Super Copa. What are we doing? Finally, some good news. The Copa del Rey has been won. Nice. Oh, and some much better news. We are in the Champions League final. We take on... Ugh, Bayern Munich. The boogeyman of this Barcelona team. But still, our first chance at a Champions League title. 
Champions League final that looks like it's being played in the day. Oh, God. That just, that just doesn't feel right at all. Hey, look. I don't care what time of the day it's played in. Just so long as we get up in it. All right, then. Finally, at last, to secure this first Champions League title of the rebuild. We're kicked off and underway with it. Oh, that's a great ball in. And it's going to be Robin to be blocked. Yes. Ooh, deep cross in. I can see Neymar for the header. Not getting in there. Rebound. It is in. Oh, on the rebound, Cesc Fabregas, who we've held on to this whole time. He is there. He's aware. And he just squeezes it in by Neuer. Lovely effort. Thank God Suarez got out of the way. Brilliant work, Cesc Fabregas. Come on. We really need a second to kill this game off. Sitting off him a bit too much. And another big save to Stegen. We're doing everything we can to hold out in this daytime Champions League final. Look, I reckon we've done it. There's only so much time left to go. We have just held on in the end to see out this win. A 1-0 victory finally by a vanquished. A rare dub for FC Barcelona against Bayern Munich in the Champions League. And what a time for it to come. A massive, massive result this at last. The 10-year rebuild with Barcelona has got its first ever Champions League. Hopefully, I am sure it will not be its last. We need more La Liga titles, more Champions Leagues. Let's go to FIFA 18. Again, a decent amount of players left Barcelona this season. You know, some... Some players like Ada Turan, for example. Javier Mascherano ended up leaving as well. But the big one, the massive one, was the biggest transfer of all time, Neymar, for 222 million pounds. Oh, no, wait, scratch that, euros. With that money, they brought in Usman Dembele. They brought in Coutinho, and they both flopped. For the money they came in for, they flopped like hell. I'm going to save Barcelona the headache and keep MSN together, Neymar is still staying at Barcelona. Again, MSN is sticking together until, to be honest, probably Suarez will be the one that eventually falls off first. Iniesta, Busquets, and Rakitic are still the midfield three as well. I mean, we could maybe add to that. We've got a 34-year-old Alves at right back still, but thankfully, we have options. For example, they also signed Nelson Semedo this season too, but I, I just went ahead and made that signing. I know he wasn't maybe all that great at Barca, but we could do with him right now. Just because, you know, I don't think we have enough, like, good defensive options. We've only got about, like, seven or eight maybe nine defenders above an 80 or at least 70 or thereabouts. I'm collecting defenders today like Pokemon. Still hanging on to Fabregas, on to Pedro, on to Alexis Sanchez. He's up to an 89 overall, man, and he still can't get a game. No space for him in the midfield, no space for him in the front three now that Neymar is still here. You know what? We've got money. We're sort of set for the future. I, honestly, I might make a strange signing that maybe not a lot of you are going to see coming. We haven't really made many moves in midfield, but I, I, I've got someone in mind. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense to sign a 30, 31 year old. David Silva, I might take off of Manchester City. Just one of those players you think, oh, I wonder if he had gone to Barcelona, how would he have done? I think he would have actually been okay. And despite his age, I assure you, he will be be a very handy player for us. So for a little over 40 million pounds, let's go ahead and bring in David Silva. Again, I bet you probably didn't see that one coming, but David Silva is now a part of Barcelona. We are back with an all Spanish midfield again. Munir here for 10 million pounds can probably accept that one. Or at least I hoped Swansea City Oh, I couldn't reach terms. <laughs> How's this one? I love this. How's West Ham United coming in for Andreas Iniesta? Can you imagine? Okay, finally, we got Luka Digne maybe going to Fenerbahce and Elena going to Newcastle. All right, then. Can we make these happen? Oh, thank God. Finally, a sale. Fulham and Burnley both coming in for Munir. I'll accept both. And Javier Mascherano to Southampton. He's probably not going to play much. But at 83, could still be useful. I'm going to say no to that one. Look, Adinia has been sold. Munir is basically unsellable. What the hell is he asking for in his contract? Like half a million a week and someone to rub his balls after every game? Ah, oh, look, we'll take it. We sold Adinia and Elena. We brought in David Silva. Barcelona won La Liga and the Copa del Rey this season. With MSN staying together, what can we win in FIFA 18? Finally, at last, we're back winning league titles again. Our second La Liga. Been a long time coming. We got the Supercopa as well over Real Madrid 
4-0. And let's run it back. It's another Champions League final. This time again, Bayern Munich is the opponent. Will we actually play a game under lights this time? We are back again. Lewandowski, a future Barcelona man. Will he make his way here in this rebuild? It's the Amsterdam Arena, and it looks like this time it's a twilight game. It's an improvement. MSN decide to stick it out for one more season, one last dance, and look at where it's got them. I think it's fair to say this time, Neymar, you made the right call. Let's just solidify that decision with a dub. Another repeat in the Champions League versus Bayern. That's a lovely ball. Neymar is the one that scores! There we go, Neymar! Why did you ever leave? Vindication for the Brazilian, and look at who assisted it! David Silva with a cutting ball! Once again, we take the lead at halftime versus Bayern, and again, we don't do much after. These are tough games, just hold out. Neymar again. Could be messy. Oh, no. Not a good cross at all. This is the last chance. If we can just win it off of him. Oh, not a bad one-two play. They're still going. God damn it. Ah, oh, shot saved. That should do it. Built it up and away. Referee. Oh, let it go. Let it go. It won't matter. It's done. I sensed a second goal. It does not need one. We get the win. Barcelona in the last 10 years have only won the one Champions League. We manage our second. And I think this might be Iniesta's last year too at Barcelona in real life. So not a bad time at all for him to win it and maybe lift up the Champions League one last time before a potential departure. Who knows? But it's done. Another Champions League. Two back-to-back. -back. What was, in all honesty, a bit of a slow start is really starting to come together now, isn't it? If only we won the Copa del Rey this season, it would have been a treble. But it is three trophies. Fantastic result. Let's move to 19. Players that left Barcelona this season include, of course, Andreas Iniesta ended up going over to Japan. Suddenly now, not a starting 11 player, not even a bench player, straight to the reserve. Sad to see, man. Fabregas is in there, and of course, Mascherano's there now that around this time he was playing in China. Some of the players that came into the club, however, include Artur and also Malcolm. I will not bother with any of those, especially Malcolm, since he's pretty much in the game for two years and then buggers off again. I will bring in Longley. I will bring in Arturo Vidal, since we could do with him at the moment. With Iniesta out now, or not really as highly rated as he once was, Silva, Busquets, and Rakitic is the midfield again. And Vidal becomes the next highest rated midfielder. Right behind him is Rodri, who is now starting to go. He may be 89 rated, but watch out Busquets. He's coming for you. Cancelo has also gone all the way up to the starting 11 as well. Even though the front three has remained intact for pretty much this whole rebuild, and I'll keep it that way as long as I can, the rest of the team is starting to change. I mean, just look at the amount of 30-plus-year-olds that we now have in the team. It's getting old. I'm actually going to sell some players first, and then, depending on who we get rid of, make moves according. Like, I hate to do it to some of them because they're actually still somewhat decently rated, but these older players, like especially Mascherano and Iniesta, I think we can now move on. And lads, I'm already in deadline day. We've barely had an offer for any of those four. Either just a bunch of loan offers or a transfer offer from Real Madrid for Suarez or Jordi Alba. You have not received any offers for any of these lads. Can't really call them lads anymore. They're like 34. We finally get a transfer offer, but again, it's from Real Madrid, and again, it's for a player I'm not trying to sell. Are they just intentionally pissing me off? Well, that's it then, lads. I, I just don't think we'll make any signings. We'll just keep the team as it is this season. Once again, La Liga was won by Barcelona this season, and again, they won the Super Copper. They also suffered the most heartbreaking semi-final exit to Liverpool as well. What happens this time? Bang, it is another La Liga title. 93 points. Super Copa, you betcha, another one. We won everything Barcelona won in real life this season. But we don't get the Copa del Rey again. And we don't make another Champions League final. It would have again been against Bayern had we done so. Because look who we had as our semi-final opponents. Atletico Madrid dumped us out. We cannot get that third Champions League in a row, at least the final. That's okay, let's try to start a new streak in FIFA 20. This season, Barcelona sold... Um, Onana, what are you doing here? They sold Malcolm back. They sold Jasper Sillison. They also brought in Emerson Royale just to then sell Emerson Royale. I think both clubs paid like half his transfer fee. It's mega confusing. They brought in players like Junior Firpo and Martin Braithwaite, the legend, but not quite. You know, we don't need him in this team. Two names I will repeat the transfers of are, of course, Antoine Griezmann and Frankie de Jong. De Jong, obviously, class pickup. He's going straight into the midfield alongside Busquets. 
and David Silva. And Griezmann on the bench, if I wanted to, I could break up the front three. I could break up MSN because Suarez and Griezmann are basically the exact same overall. However, I won't do that just yet. Eventually, Suarez will start to drop off way quicker and way faster than Messi and Neymar will. So for one more season, Griezmann's on the bench. And then after that, I'm going to try to make it work with him at Barcelona. Plays coming up from Barcelona B like Ronald Araujo here. Oh, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. And quickly, the fall off of Cesc Fabregas, Iniesta and Mascherano. Again, I was keen to let these guys go ages ago. Another player I should mention that has come up from the Youth Academy is Ansu Fati as well. Transfer offer for Puig. I can probably let him go. I don't think he's going to grow that much. So that's him sold then. And RB Leipzig, well, we could do business, but they just said, you know what? Fuck you. We're not selling this player, but you can buy his release clause. I mean, fine, we'll sign him, but just because we haven't made a signing since, not since almost bloody FIFA 18. And I'm telling you what, he's a good player to have, but just, yeah. Can't trade for these players, can't sell these players. I mean, these, these guys are just here to rock. Well then, so be it. Off we go with FIFA 20. We bag another La Liga title. This one is crazy though. 107 points, Real Madrid 103. No other Spanish Cups, but the ultimate game in all of football. The El Clasico Champions League Final. It has happened. Finally at last, what team do we go into it with? Is Suarez staying at striker? Griezmann is slightly higher rated. Got more pace, better passing, only slightly better shooting. I think it makes sense. I reckon Griezmann starts it, Neymar and Messi, we break up MSN for the final. This would be the biggest game of football, at least club football ever. Going for a third Champions League trophy in this rebuild, and this would be the biggest by far. Will Leo Messi be lifting up this Champions League trophy against the Champions League specialists. And of course, the big call to start Griezmann over Suarez. Will it pay off? We're off and underway. Oh, big gaps up the middle here. I can see Neymar if he can drive in into... Oh, come on. What a goal. What a pass. And what a start to the game. Neymar scores. Was that Rodri that threaded the needle? Okay, that was a lovely finish too. I think bringing Rodri in was also the right call too. Oh, that was an exquisite outside of the boot finish. Oh, we strike early, but Benzema, how did he get in front? How has Benzema got in front? He has leveled it up almost immediately. The clearance away from PK, I don't know what the hell has happened, but Benzema gets a ball side of PK, almost shoves him, fends him off, and puts it past to Stegen. How's that happen? Where's that come from? And now, as a result of that, we are still level at halftime. They're making a game of it, even without Cristiano. Could absolutely blow the place up right here. Varane cuts off what would have been a great chance for Messi. And that is it. It is going to be extra time. I thought Messi was going to get like the 90th minute winner there. Rodri can hit them and Courtois can save them. Half time again. And lads, I'm starting to think about penalties. Young and Rodri coming off. We're bringing Silva and Rakitic on. Oh, this is a beautifully timed offside for Real Madrid. I can get my attackers on, my, my penalty takers. And with literally seconds to go, no way we're getting a chance to win this thing in real time. Oh my God, I wish the referee had let it go. It, we could have had a chance. But all right, fair enough. I was never expecting to get that attack. It's penalties. I got some nice takers. Messi, Neymar, Griezmann, Suarez, Rakitic, Tellez are all right as well. God, please do this. Just stick it right up in the top corner. Ho, ho. That was close. Hazard. Oh, oh, ho, ho. What are these penalties? And God, Neymar, no, not your stupid run up. I'm going for the bottom corner. I can't even time it. There's no way. Hold, hold, hold. Oh, you idiot. Oh, Ramos just drills it in the top corner. Courtois, please. Off. No! No! Mariano! Oh no! How on earth did Griezmann hit the post? It was nowhere near the post where we were aiming. Suarez, you've got to score. And he does. Now to Stegen, we need to step up. Tony Cruz could break our heart right here. But he won't! He won't not yet! Oh my god, it's Rakitic. I want to go down the middle, but oh man. I'm scared. I'm just going to stick it up into the top corner. Play it safe. Oh my God. Did Thibaut Courtois dive the right way literally 
almost every penalty apart from one. I dived the right way three times and still only saved one. And how did Griezmann miss his penalty? The fucking reticle was way in the goal. Oh man, that is a killer. That is an absolute killer. Courtois in Champions League finals, man. There's something about him. He's just, he's too goated at it. Oh, we lose the Champions League final. Fucking Messi loses a Champions League final. He never loses Champions League final. Well, the fire's in the belly now. Fuck all the rules. We are going full send for the rest of this rebuild. That's already a good team. Watch it get way better. Off to FIFA 21. The 2021 season saw the departures of players like Artur, Nelson Tomato, Carlos Perez. But the biggest one was, of course, Luis Suarez, who left the club. Joined Atletico Madrid, but I am not letting him go. We're still hanging on to him. 87 rated still. Barcelona brought in this season Sergino Dest, Trincao, and Miralem Pjanic. And again, honestly, probably won't go for any of them. Because Griezmann has dropped down to an 86 rating this year, we've got MSN back again. It's still Messi, Suarez, and Neymar. And also shout out to Pedri, who's now a part of the team as well. Not a lot of improvements really to be made in the starting 11, but I've still got an idea for a transfer or two. One thing I really love doing in these 10-year rebuilds is stuffing up my rivals in the future. Something I haven't done a super amount this time around. Let's go ahead and do that then by signing Jude Bellingham two years before Real Madrid would. What about Andres Iniesta? I mean, like, uh, I feel a bit guilty doing it to him. But I don't know. Is, is that an option? Wow, in the end, they just want 15 million and 9% selling clause. That could be worth a lot in the future, but bloody good deal that. Fine. Iniesta is never leaving this club, apparently. Neither is Cesc Fabregas, but do you know who's coming in? Jude bloody Bellingham, baby, is a Barcelona man. Hell yeah, man. Let's get advancing through in this season. Barcelona just got the Copa del Rey and that's it this year. So surely some improvements got to be had here. Well, a pretty good season again in La Liga. Finally, we, we could not buy a league title at the start of this rebuild. Now we're winning La Liga's constant. That is number five in La Liga and another Super Copa. That's number, I think, what are we up to? Four. And a Copa del Rey. We have done the domestic treble again for the second time. We don't make the Champions League final. PSG beat them. Real Madrid cop that. It's not nice, is it? We are up now to exactly 15 trophies won in this rebuild. We're doing brilliantly. Still three more to go. FIFA 22. This season, ladies and gentlemen, was the disaster season for Barca. Financial difficulties had completely tarnished the club. And of course, Messi ended up leaving. There were no avenues available. He had to leave. He ended up going to PSG with Neymar. Well, in this timeline, Barcelona's actually got its shit together. Neymar, Suarez, and Messi are still holding on. This might be, though, the last season of MSN. And some of the players that were locks in the starting 11 at the beginning of this are starting to fall out now. Like, for example, PK, 84 rated. He is now no longer one of the highest rated center backs, not higher rated than Rudiger, who takes his spot. Also, something funny about Andre Onana. He actually wasn't available for me to select last year because he was suspended because of a doping ban. Just in case you caught that, but he's back now. We had two Youth Academy players coming up as well. Link Gavi here, 74 rated. He's now available. And the left back Balde, whose just rise is absolutely extraordinary. 68 rated now. Watch that hit the 80s very soon. Jude Bellingham hasn't quite hit an overall to get into the starting 11 yet either, but oh boy, he's about to be. Same goes with Araujo, to be honest, and he's he's shot up rapidly too. So let's find out how this season goes. Of course, in this tumultuous season for Barcelona, they won nothing. Not a thing. Surely with this side, we have to at least improve on that. Another La Liga title. What is that now? It's like, feels like four or five in a row. I just know it's La Liga number six. We now have another Copa de España. 14 Spanish trophies won in this time. Amazing, but sadly, not quite enough to win another Champions League this season. Let's move on then to the last FIFA game ever, FIFA 23. This season saw the departures of players like Philip Coutinho. They signed him for so much money, they sold him for 20 million. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Miralem Pjanic, who they signed for a bunch of money, and also on top of that, Samuel Umtiti. This season, they brought in some players like Marcos Alonso, Andreas Christensen, Frank Kessier. But those were not the only players brought in at Barcelona. They also signed Robert Lewandowski, Jules Koundé, and Rafinha. And yes, sir, I'm going to add both of those, or should I say all three of those players in. MSN had an amazing run, but 
it is over. Lewandowski becomes the starting striker. Griezmann is still about that 85 overall, which isn't bad, but in this crazy team, it's still not good enough. Our midfield is now Bellingham, Rodri, and De Jong. Poor Pierre-Emil Hoiberg right back into the reserves again. That's how strong the team is. So many of the older heads, the older players that I just could not sell or get rid of for whatever reason have all retired and left like Iniesta a while back. This team is ridiculous. And then you think about the fact that like Bellingham is going to be going up. Rodri is still probably going to be going up. Again, I'd totally be down to sign some players, but who? Who do you get? Who vastly improves this starting 11? Who even barely minorly improves this starting 11? Again, Barcelona did win La Liga last season. Can we repeat and just win it again? God knows how many times in a row this would be if we do. Barcelona's La Liga domination continuing. I tell you what, man, over the course of a whole season, when you build a team up like this with this many guns, it just, it counts, man. Number seven in La Liga, number five in the Copa del Rey. And we were doing really well in the Champions League at one point, but now not so much. Been a while since our last finals appearance, and we've only got one more left to go. Runners up in the Super Copa, semi-finalists in the Champions League, one season to go. Can we get one last bit of European glory? That is the aim. I'd love to cap this off with a third Champions League and make up for the loss to Real Madrid. Let's do it then, people. Off we go to FC 24. And here we are, people, in FC 24 for the first time in this series. This season, Barcelona saw players like Sergio Busquets go. Jordi Alba go, of course. They went to Inter Miami to join Messi. But in this one, they're all just going to stay at Barca. Dembele left for PSG. Frank Kessier left for Saudi Arabia. They also brought in Inigo Martinez, a good defender, and Ilkay Gundogan from Man City. Honestly, I'm just bringing all the players that Barcelona signed this season. And this is the team that we have Wow. 90 rated still for Messi. Lewandowski in there. Neymar Jr. at an 89. Bellingham at an 86. Rodri is nearly at a 90 as well. I don't think the bench and the reserves have ever looked at any point in this rebuild as good as they do now. Do we make it to our fourth Champions League final? Go on then. Just win another league title again. You shouldn't be surprised. Did you see our squad? No Super Copa. We lost 6-5 on penalties. That sucks. And no Copa de España. We currently sit on 20. Can we make it 21? We have made the Champions League final. We will take on Dortmund. Lewandowski and Messi have massively dropped off, though. So a big call to be made here. And what about with Robert Lewandowski? Antoine Griezmann was 88 rated at the start of this. He's dropped to 85, but... Looks to be that Griezmann is definitely the better option here. This is the team we're going to roll with for the final then. It's Neymar, Griezmann, Messi up top. A sick midfielder, sick backlining keeper. Can we make it three Champions Leagues? Let's do this then, people. FC 24 in action. Champions League final. Griezmann, the surprise substitution in, but we're underway. Oh, ball in. Dangerous. And that is a tap in. What a start for Dortmund. This was a brilliant pass at the back stick. I'm not quite sure what Stegen was going for. The strike was obviously a missed attempt on goal, but a perfect pass it would seem. Cantelo's won it back in a really good spot here. Messi, Griezmann, Griezmann. Oh, good stop. Oh, if that gets through, which it does! Rodrigo returning to England and phasing through. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 boy. Oh, you you hate to see it. Great cross again. Calabria! Adiemi back stick. Can we get some damn coverage for that back bloody post, man? Oh, ref in the middle of an attack, man. We are losing this Champions League final so far. Neymar. Neymar. God, get out of the way, Schlotterbeck. Oh, please, get the ball through. Deflected. Again, fucking Schlotterbeck. We are pumping them at the moment. Neymar with a curling effort! What is that? Somehow a goal from that! On the edge of the box. Thought why not have a curling effort? It goes through a defender. That goalkeeping save. That actually, you know what? Maybe it is actually a fair enough decent shot. I don't know why. The way the keeper reacted made me think he was surely going to get to that. I'll wheel it back then. Okay, that's not a bad strike. Well done, Neymar. Bellingham. Messi. It could be. It will be. It is. It's Leo Messi. Bellingham feeds in the running Messi. I, I wanted him to take that with his left. 
in the end, he somehow squeezes it in with perfect, perfect placement into the side netting. Look at that. That is about as good as it can get. Who else raising his ear to the fans again? Who else would do it? Messi in the big moments. Oh, they pushed up to try to win it. We can absolutely put the nail in the coffin. Right here with Bellingham! That will do it! Oh, yes, what a final! We come from behind twice! Bellingham, we stole him off Real Madrid, and he will deliver a Champions League title. And he does it against his old side as well. No problem celebrating. Why wouldn't you celebrate? A third Champions League title in the rebuild, and what a rebuild. An astonishing 21 trophies won in this one. That is a glorious, glorious sight. Nothing better than seeing Messi in the Barcelona shirt back in the Barcelona shirt. He's actually never lifted up the Champions League trophy as captain. He will now. Finally, at last, we see it. Leo Messi lifting up the third Champions League of this rebuild for Barcelona. If you've enjoyed this one, people, then please be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what other teams you want me to do a 10-year rebuild with. And if you enjoyed this one, then ladies and gentlemen, be sure to click this one for another FC24 video.